Hi guys, welcome back to Herbert Studio. My name is Farah and today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to 3D track posters on a video. So the other day I saw this trailer of The Social Dilemma on Netflix and I thought that it would be great if we try to recreate this scene. And if you're new here, welcome to this channel. We are Herbert Studio. We do videos about motion graphics, animation, and everything After Effects. So if you're interested, do click the subscribe button. We will be posting videos frequently from now on. So do stick around and let's go straight into the video. First of all, what you want to do is prepare a footage and some screen recordings of your favorite social media. So here I have video of this guy. He is walking in an alley with two walls on his left and right. I think that's an, an ideal footage to you to place our screen recordings on. This is just me scrolling through a carousel on Instagram or you can take like this. This is just the weather forecast on my phone. You want to get maybe a few, it depends how much you want, but I took like around six of it. So you've imported your footage, just create a new comp. What you want to do first of all is to track your camera. On the right hand of your screen, there might be a panel called tracker. If you don't see it, you can go to window and search for tracker. Click on that and there'll be an option for a track camera, track motion, warp stabilizer and stabilize motion. So, but today we'll be using the track camera. Click on that once and you'll see that After Effects will analyze it. And this might take a few seconds to a few minutes depending how long and how big your video is. So if you're going for something simple, try to keep it under 10 seconds, maybe like five. All right, it's done guys. Once you have that, right now on your footage there'll be a few tracking points so those tracking points will be the base of your screen recording if you can't see them you can go right here to your effects controls panel and try to make the track point size bigger now if you hover around your screen you'll see that there's some planes popping up in order to create our illusion as if it's sticking on a wall try to look for a flat surface that fits your scene okay i like this one actually uh what you want to do uh right click and create a solid and camera so that after effects will create a solid that is attached to the wall so if you play back your video you'll see that the solid is stuck onto that wall and it goes off screen as you walk in front Let's move on to the next step. Go to that track solid. There'll be a track solid and you want to right click and pre-compose it. Give it a name. I'll just call it new screen one. Enter. So that will pre-compose that solid. If you click onto it, uh, you'll go into the pre-comps composition and you'll see that the solid here is flat. So whatever you create on this solid, it will appear onto your main composition as it's stuck on the wall. So, few screen recordings. Let's put one of it in. So it doesn't fit and I actually want it to show more. So if you need to resize your composition, go ahead to the composition, composition settings and just resize it accordingly. So now you'll see more of the composition. And yeah, your screen recordings playing. Okay, you can create whatever you want here. Uh, I'll leave it this way first so we can go back to our main comp and see. Now we have our solid stuck to the wall. And this is exactly what we're trying to go for. So if you got that, great job on making it this far. Let's go ahead and adjust it. So I'm just going to play around with transform tools and make it seem like it's straight and maybe you can resize it you can make it smaller okay look at that so that's how you 3d track in a video after adding some additional effects onto your video you could create something just like this We do want to cover the effects that we use to create this final product. So if you're interested in that, do comment down below and we might consider making a part 2 of this video. That concludes today's tutorial. If you like our video today, do click the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't. I would love to know what you guys think about this video. This is Herbert Studio and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye!